it's Bill Tierney here with William Ravis, and uh, today it's time for Market Report Monday. Typically, in my market reports, I talk about a, a town hanging across at Situate Hall um, and tell you what's going on. But today, we're going to talk a little bit more about the interest rate market um, and what that's going to do for the spring market, in my opinion. Um, and I know when I said in my opinion, I could be wrong, probably will be, but um, I'll give you my opinion anyway. Anyway, so. The market for interest rates, you know, we saw this time last year, we started around 3%. We saw rates run up uh, into the low eights. Um, and then we started to get uh, a little bit of help with the economy cooling down and the Federal Reserve jacking up interest rates to slow the economy down. Not that there's any correlation between what the Fed does and mortgage rates. Uh, lots of people think there are, and that's a very common misnomer, but we can cover that another day in another video. Um, however, the forecast from people who are smarter than I, um, who do economic forecasts and they have access to better tools and everything else under the sun. So I read what they do. Uh, I do not know where interest rates are going. If I did know where interest rates are going, I wouldn't be selling real estate. Um, so the general consensus is for rates to move down and more so in the second and third quarters of 2024. That will, I believe, significantly help the real estate market because what we saw really in the back end of last year was a seize up in the market. You know, the move up buyer didn't want to give up their 3% mortgage for that fourth bedroom. The downsized buyer didn't want to give up that nice lifestyle um, because the economics of you know a, a higher interest rate sort of dampen their need and or desire to move. However, with lower interest rates, some of that goes. I think there are a lot of people who said, well, gee, I wish I'd kind of caught that market in you know 2022, early 2023, you know, when rates were low and you know, people were, were bidding like crazy for houses. Uh, and they saw the 8% market, they saw the seize up. Now the market's getting a little bit better. And I think you'll see that buyer coming back into the market. Um, and this is going to be, I think, very important going forward. Um, that's going to you know, just free up some inventory. Inventory is still going to remain tight because demand is, is quite strong. It will get stronger with lower interest rates. However, <clears throat> uh, lower interest rates will be what accelerates the market a little bit. So, I, you know, I, I do think, you know, from a seller point of view, it's a very good time um, to be selling. From a buyer's point of view, I don't think prices are going down. Um, so if you see something you like, you know, um, like the song says, if you liked it, you put, should have put a ring on it. Um, if you like it, you should have put an offer on it. Um, because that's just the way the market's going to be in 2024. That's my forecast on the market. Certainly love to talk to you about how this you know, applies to your individual situation. Uh, if you like my videos, give me um, a like, follow, or subscribe. I appreciate your watching. Make it a good week, and we'll chat next week. Thanks.